No, I'm not going to be doing a review on the Strav. This is on the Spike. And yes, it basically is a Strav in different clothing. This is the tier five hybrid nation tank that you get if you reach level nine on the way of the Raider event. But should you really be looking to get this tank? Well, let's have a look. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fugit Blitz and today we're going to look at this tank, the Spike. It's a medium tank, it's in the hybrid nation, but it's basically a Strav. But we'll get to that a bit more in a moment. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a cool looking tank. They've basically taken a Strav, they've changed the camo, uh, they've put things on it, they've put spikes on it, they've put amplifiers on it and stuff like that. But realistically, it's a Strav. And as you can see here, that's the Strav without the wolf's clothing, so to speak. So for all intents and purposes, it is the same tank. But with spikes, hence the name, Spike. Anyway, this is what the stats look like. So you can see the damage isn't great, rate of fire isn't great, penetration is mm, okay, armor isn't great. Look at the hit points, not fantastic. But look at its DPM, 1.3. Look at its reload time, 7.3 and look at its penetration and the damage output. Now, mm, that makes you wonder. I wonder how that compares to the actual Strav, the Tech Tree version. Well, you can see here, hit points lower, DPM lower, aim time, reload time higher. But what's the tank actually like? Well, there's one massive redeeming feature. It's basically free. All you've got to do is get to level nine in the way of the Raider event and you'll get this tank for gratis. Nothing, nada, zero. You don't even have to buy the Pyronium container to get to level nine and you'll get this tank. All you've got to do is grind for it. You see, if you buy the Pyronium trailer, then you get the tank automatically because you get 30 levels unlocked. Gameplay wise, well, it's pretty much a Strav with a better reload, more DPM. Uh, it's as simple as that really. It, it will play the same way. It's realistically a Strav. It's just a pumped up steroidish version of the tier five medium tank that sits in the Euro line. Aside from that, I mean, it's okay. It's not brilliant, it's not fantastic, but it's free. And that's all that matters. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's got a good bit of gun depression. It's nice when you take it all down. It does average damage. It has a longish reload times, just shy of seven and a half seconds, which is actually, as I said, better than the Strav. But for all intents and purposes, it is a freebie. It is therefore utterly, utterly gratis. And never look a gift horse in the mouth, is what I say. Because you never know, you might actually end up liking this thing. And even if you don't like it, you can get rid of it. I did find, however, that, you know, I've been earning some decent credits with it because it's a collector and therefore it's going to earn you credits. I mean, in the game I just showed you, which was on Mirage, I earned 30 odd thousand credits for that game because we did win it. So it's not a bad credit earner. And you know what? I like it. It's it's okay, but only if you like rolling out in your tier fives. Now, uh, if you're a tank collector, then obviously you're going to want it in your garage. If you're new to the game and you're still sort of grinding along, then this is an okay tank to have. It's going to earn you some credits. It's going to get you some XP. It's okay. And if you don't want it and you don't like it, you can always sell it. Where well, you'll get back around 36,000 credits and about 250 gold, which isn't bad considering it was a freebie. It was gratis. You didn't have to do anything other than play the game and grind along. I mean, okay, if you bought the Pyroleum trailer, a bit of different, you spent $10 then. But if you bought the Pyroleum trailer, the chances are you're aiming for the Annihilator rather than the Spike. So I think it's quite nice. I think it's okay. It, it, it's got everything that suits everybody. If you're a veteran player and you don't particularly collect tanks, sell it, get some credits, get some gold. If you're a new player, get it. 
it's free and you can roll out on it and have some fun and earn some credits to help you grind and if you're a tank collector well get it because you're a tank collector it's it's a good all-round little tank and as i said i mean it's free guys you don't have to buy it all you've got to do is grind your little backside off get to level nine of the way of the raider event and this tank can be in your garage it's as simple as that and by the way i've just worked out the 250 um gold is because i've got the, the flame thrower attachment on the top so that's why i get the gold back but you know that's not bad i will still take it but it's a nice little tank it's no it's nothing spectacular it's a little bit better than the strav simple as that but like the strav you don't need to grind this one realistically and it's free of charge anyway that's the spike of the new event tank which is a tier 5 a medium tank sitting in the hybrid nation a strav with spikes on which is why it's called spike i've been fujit i hope you enjoyed that by all means comment like and all the other stuff below if you haven't yet pressed subscribe well why not it costs you nothing and you may have a chance to get involved in my giveaway later today for Perolium trailers. Who knows? If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me. Fujitsblitz at gmail.com. And with that, I'd like to say my usual stuff. Big thank you to my YouTube members. Really, congratulations to you guys. Big thank you to my Patreons. Without you, these videos would be a lot harder. And a huge thank you to my subs. Because without you, these videos would be meaningless. So, until the next time, guys, my usual thing, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.